Hello everyone, this is Afsar Ali and welcome back. In the last video, we saw how we can search a particular email uh, in, using Gmail API. So in this video, we're gonna learn about how we can send a, a email to any, any other uh, email ID, right? So we will see how we can do in this. Part. So I'll be using same uh, Gmail services that we created in, in, in the previous video. Uh, the same uh, get gmail services all right to read uh, or to send a particular uh, gmail all right so for that uh, let me create another uh, class for that so i already created gmail operations class so that it will be a little easy to understand whether you know all the operation is in another here all right another class okay so first of all uh, this is my main main uh, method where I'll be writing all the methods, right? So to send a particular uh, email, we need something, right? So if you also search in, uh, if you go to the API documentation, if you go to uh, guides or maybe go to the references. So in here, uh, if you go to, uh, messages because uh, uh, we are sending the email right so it, it's come under the messages and go to uh, send in, in here send right so if you go go here we do have http request as well we can do uh, rest api and also we do have uh, other way of doing uh, using java uh, .NET, php python java so in this video i'll be using java based all right so what i need to do is i just copy this uh this api uh the method uh, they already have just copy it uh, the two methods already they have create a message with the email and uh, send message all right so there are two methods so i just copy those send message and create message with email so i copied those two method to here all right so another method that we need uh, for uh, for writing it here if i say uh, if if i say here there is another go to the guides and here if you see a send email all right a create and send email so within the guide you'll see send email just click on that and here also you'll find uh, uh, a very good uh, way of you know uh, it's a uh, uh, writing the email uh, body email uh, subjects and to whom you are sending etc and from where you are sending so just copy this as well all right so what i have done here if you see this particular message all right in the first one is the properties all right then it will create the sessions and create the session so for that you need a jar java x uh, java x dot mail api you need to add in your pom dot xml file so if you see i do have this one i added recently uh, and 1.4.7 java mail api so if you go to maven repository mbn repository and just search for java mail all right, so you need to, uh, yeah, you just go to Java Mail API, come back. So this, this is the one I'm using, 1.4.7. All right, so just add it here in your pom.xml and all your error will be gone. All right, so make sure you have uh, the similar method or maybe uh, you can also look into this particular uh, method here. So what I'm doing here is just creating a session, then my message. So my message that I'm creating here and within the my message, I'm sending the sessions. And th this is my message and set in here, I'm setting from uh, where I'm sending it. Uh, here I'll be sending the email address from where I'm sending. Mostly it, it would be me because uh, this is my account that I'm sending it. So yeah, I'll be using me here and add the recipient. So here you can add a recipient. So the recipient's email ID, you need to 
uh, provide here all right and then subject the subject uh, the text that you want to see in here this is the subject your google account was recovered successfully this is the subject and inside that whatever present these are the body so this is your subject line all right so you can see the subject and uh, the set subject also okay set twice all right so then set text and the body text whatever body text you are providing you can just uh, provide here within these uh, you can send any body text you can send html you can attach some html so those things we'll see in the later video but in the in this particular video we'll see a normal uh, text message all right within this body and that will do your work all right so it will return my message and that will be used in my message here this particular create message all right so let's see what we can do the first thing uh, first let's just create a message here create message so first one would be to to whom you want to send suppose i want to send ali 273 at gmail.com and a from and it from is me and then i i do have a subject uh, what subject uh, this is my demo test subject and another one this is my body text something like that all right and then another one yeah i think that that's it subject then body text so this is the one and i can save is that mime uh, message uh, you can say my message all right so yeah it's a my message uh, saved it uh, then the next thing that i'll be doing here is um yeah create message with email i'll be doing this uh, okay, so in here, I'm just providing these, my message. All right, so now the next thing that we want to do is send message, all right? So how we can do? Uh, let's see this one as a my message. Uh, my message and pass it here. And this one is a message, all right? so this is a message that i'm uh, i got already then i'll be doing a send message all right so send message so before that uh, i need something i need a gmail service to be called here all right so we know we already have a gmail service this gmail service that i need to call uh, in here right so as it is uh, static i can just uh, call it using its uh, class name all right so i can say gmail services uh i can do something sorry get gmail service all right so in here maybe i can save it as a service here also all right because that's returning me uh, services you can see gmail service it will return at the end so i'll be reusing that services all right so in here i can say something like this services dot uh, you can see a lot of methods available with this uh, services right so i'll be using with the uh, users then i'll be using uh, messages and should be the send all right so you can see here uh, we do have a uh, send message all right so i'll be using this send so the user id would be me or maybe uh, i i can say uh, whatever we we do have uh, here all right uh, may, maybe we can use me and here the message would be a message all right 
So that's cool. And I got this uh, services users messages dot send me. And then I need to execute this. All right. So that, uh, that's it. And this will return me message. All right. Uh, of type message. So same. I can just save it here and do one thing i can just print whatever the message i got at uh, the return all right so i can just print this line and it will print a pretty text all right so if i go to the create uh, email uh, i think i already we discussed about this subject and text and from etc and this one is uh, create message with email here what it will be it will encode it uh, into base 64 url safe string all right so you can uh, get those methods from here um yeah you you can get it from uh, this documentation as well in here and also in here all right so it has a multiple uh, creating message then we do have creating message with attachments we do have you know other things as well so we'll see in the later video with that attachment how we can do uh, attach in html into the body etc we'll, we'll see that and yeah so let's run it how it works and make sure uh, before running it uh, you should have uh, access uh, or authorized to send uh, the email as well because while creating uh, this credentials right access token and the refresh token we uh, we we have given the scopes right uh, make sure that you uh, you have provided uh, you know enough scope uh, so that it can send uh, the email as well at least it should be the send uh, you, you can also get it in here uh, i think the scopes if you see it should be uh, is a gmail dot send. It it should be available, right? Otherwise, you won't be able to send any uh, you know email if you have only only read only. That means you you can only read, but you can't send it. So make sure uh, while creating access token and the refresh token, uh, you have provided enough uh, authorization for that particular uh, you know API. All right. So let's run it. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see uh, uh, it's printed sent already. All right, if I go to my uh, Gmail, then I should see uh, one email already being sent with uh, with a body called this is my text body text and this is my demo test subject is uh, the subject line. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I can see training uh, email. So here, this is my demo test subject, and this is my body text, and it's coming from. You can see here, right? Training email eighty nine, and this is absolutely two seventy three. So yeah, this is working fine, and you can use uh, this, and you can see uh, this is ID third id also is being uh, we, we can print uh, from here all right so in the next video we'll see how we can send the email uh, with the body plus some attachment of the file as well we'll see that in the next video thanks for watching and see you in the next video